sometimes uh, it is beneficial to define certain properties that can be tabulated and once you have these values tabulated they help you find things that you are looking for for example how much energy do i need to add to this system to take it from temperature t1 to temperature t2 or how much energy should i withdraw from a particular system in order to cool it down from let's say temperature t3 to t4 right so to perform these kind of calculations sometimes it's useful to have certain properties that are tabulated for substances that are undergoing specific processes and uh, two such important properties that are usually tabulated for many materials under certain conditions are the specific heats uh, in particular the specific heat at constant volume and the specific heat at constant pressure usually they are designated by cv and cp and so in this video we are going to see how cv and cp are defined and how they can help us uh, in trying to find the quantities that we are looking for in certain situations right and so um, to to uh, have uh, perspective so let's look at uh, for example cv right so if we know cv for a particular substance undergoing a constant volume process so the process has to be a constant volume process there cannot be an expansion or a contraction right and if we know for example uh, that it is a constant volume process then we can write that uh, uh, delta u for example is uh, integral cv dt over the process right if uh, this is a constant volume process So that is very useful because then I would know how much energy that I would need to add or take away from a particular system in order to get from temperature uh, 1 to temperature 2 or in other words I would know how much energy the system would release or require if I were to if the system went from a certain temperature to some other temperature right. Similarly uh, I can write for a constant pressure process. Uh, delta H is equal to integral Cp dt right. Uh, similarly, so it is very helpful because it is giving me the change in enthalpy of the system as a function of the Cp right. So far as I said in many substances Cb and Cp values are tabulated and when that happens I can easily do this integration to get me delta U or delta H as I, um, as I need right. And further if I see that Cv values are not changing by much then I can even pull this Cv value out of the integral sometimes and just do a Cv delta t right but that is only in special situations and also remember that this is not always true this is only true for a constant volume process and same thing goes with here. So if the Cp value of a substance is not changing too much over a process I can pull this Cp out of the integral and do a Cp delta t for a constant pressure process in which Cp values do not change by much. So these are some of the simplifications that I can achieve if I have Cv and Cp values tabulated and I know how much they vary and what process my system is undergoing right. And so therefore uh, now we come to a formal definition of Cv and Cp right. Um, So we define specific heat at constant volume Cv as uh, the energy required to increase the temperature. of a closed system um, while keeping volume constant, right. So, it is the energy so it could be heat or work so I could raise the temperature 
of a substance by doing work on it or by doing by supplying heat either way right and uh, what is it that i need to do i need to increase the temperature of the system by uh, oh uh, temperature of a closed system by 1 degree celsius or 1 kelvin right um, so i need to increase the temperature by 1 kelvin and i need to measure what is the energy that is required to raise that temperature by 1 kelvin right but while keeping volume constant right so there are two numbers here one is capital cv and that is uh, do u by do t at constant v right so that is the energy that is required to raise the temperature by 1 kelvin or 1 degree celsius at constant volume right and that is capital cv right and uh, what are the units of this uh, it is joule per kelvin so the units are joule per kelvin right i can also define a more intensive property uh, that is this way yeah i can also define a more intensive property that is more useful and that can be tabulated for certain substances at certain conditions if i make it an intensive property and therefore uh, what is more used is this definition of cv this c being simple c is dou u over dou t at constant specific volume right and this is the more commonly used definition of specific heat of course uh, here what i have written here is the definition of the capital cv so i must correct that to uh, cv here right so cv is the energy required to increase the temperature of a closed system by 1 kelvin uh, while keeping volume constant so that's why there's a partial differential here and there is also a constant volume to indicate that volume is held constant during this process of increasing the temperature by 1 degree celsius or by 1 kelvin right and so uh, the most as i said uh, the more used form is this intensive property uh, in which i use the intensive uh, internal energy and i use temperature of course is temperature and then i held i hold the specific volume constant and uh, so therefore uh, that's the definition of cv right similarly i can also define cp uh, along the same lines So specific heat at constant pressure Cp right is defined as the energy needed to increase the temperature of a closed system by 1 kelvin while holding pressure constant so it is a similar definition there I am measuring the energy required to raise the temperature of the system by 1 kelvin here also it is the energy required to raise the temperature of the system by 1 kelvin but the difference here uh, is that in Cv I am holding the volume constant whereas here I am holding the pressure constant and so therefore uh, del, uh, dh uh, sorry Cp is equal to dou h by dou t at constant p right and uh, just like i have an intensive property cv i can also define an intensive property cp uh, that is dou h that is the intensive enthalpy uh, dou t at constant p right and again just as uh, the small cv or the simple case cv here more is more used uh, this is also more used uh, compared to this definition because this requires you to know a priori the size of the system which is not a requirement for the simple case or the intensive properties right and so these are many times tabulated for many substances 
and so that's very useful because then you can take it off of there and do perform the integration as required right and so uh, these are the formal definitions of cv and cp